Hi, this project is a demonstration of bank account simulation. This project bank account simulation is a new self-service banking approach of carrying out your manual transaction automatically with the help of internet. The system is an interactive bank desktop application where customers can create and manage their account. To use the system, customer has to first get himself approved by the admin through online. User can use the system in order to access online banking services like depositing money via credit card, transferring funds, online payment and so on. There will be two people who will log into the system. One will be the admin and the one will be the user. Let's see the admin module. Here the admin will use his ID and the password in order to log into the system. So let's enter the ID and the password. Once the admin logins to the system, these are two options you can access through. Let's see the add information. Here the user ID, the customer ID will be automatically generated by the system itself. And you must specify the customer details. So let's enter the name. contact number if the user enter admin enters wrong contact number you will get an error like, enter valid mobile number so you must enter valid mobile number as well as va valid email id so it should be the mobile number should be 10 digit number and you must specify the correct valid mail id as well here the account number is of uh, here the system display nine digit account number and in order to get 18 digit the admin must click on to the generate number so you will get an 18 digit of account number which will be displayed by the system itself and it will be randomly generated by the system and will be shown to the user. This account number will be unique for each user. Admin must specify the address of the customer as well as the amount, deposit amount, saving amount, PPF. So let's enter the fixed deposit amount. Here if I enter the character, I will get an error message enter numbers only. So I must enter only the numbers. Here, once the admin enters the following amounts, you must click on to the uh, calculate total. Once he clicks on to the calculate total, the total will be calculated and it will be displayed over here. About his ID as well as the password will be sent to the respective user's mail ID. Once the admin clicks on to the register button, So over here, the user had been registered as well as mail is successfully sent. When the admin clicks on to the exit button, the will be out of the system. Let's see the user module. User will use his ID and the password uh, which he had got from his uh, mail ID. Uh, so he will enter the ID and the password. password will be of uh, six digit once the user logins to the system these are the various options you can access through let's see the information module over here you can view his uh, personal details if you want to edit some of the information you can do so by clicking on to the edit button so this three text box will be visible also you can edit the mobile number email id as well as the address so let's edit the mobile number as well as the mail id if i want to change the address i can do so so once the user clicks on to the update button my data will be updated let's see the transfer module over here the transaction id is automatically generated by the system you must specify the account number of a particular cu customer. If he enters only six digit, he will get an error message once he clicks on to the transfer button. So you must specify 18 digit account number.
so you must specify the total amount you want to transfer as well as the password so i must specify a correct password so once the user clicks on to the transfer button the my amount will be transferred to the specified account number let's see the savings button savings module here the user can view the various deposits he had he had the fixed deposit amount saving deposit amount as well as the ppf let's see the income tax module over here you can view the various tax amount that has been uh, deducted you can see the total amount which had been in his account as well as the taxable amount as well as the tax amount as well as the total balance after the deduction this calculation is made by the system itself let's see the deposit module over here the transaction id is automatically generated by the system itself he must specify the source from where the income is coming as well as he must specify the total amount so let's enter the source name as well as the amount once you click on to the submit button just details will be added to the database so let's see the withdrawal history over here the user can view various withdrawal histories he had made that is his trans the he can view the transaction id account number as well as the withdrawal amount let's see the deposit history over here you can view various deposits in he had made the source as well as the deposit amount this is how the bank account simulation works thank you